Hello and welcome to the TensorFlow Object Detection API tutorial. In this video, I will walk you through the TensorFlow code to perform object detection in a video. So let's get started. This part is basically you're importing all the libraries. We need a lot of these libraries, for example, NumPy, we need image IO, date time, and pill, and so on and so forth. And of course, matplotlib. So we import all these libraries and then there are a bunch of variables which have some paths for the files and folders. So this is regular stuff. Let's keep moving. Then we import the matplotlib and make it inline and uh, a few more imports. All right. And then these are some warnings. We can just ignore them. So if I run this code once again, it will go away. All right. And then here onwards, we do the model preparation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use an existing neural network model. So we are not going to train a new one because that really will uh, take a long time and uh, it needs a lot of uh, computation resources and so on and it is really not required. There are already models that have been trained and in this case it is the SSD with mobile net. That's the model that we are going to use and uh, this model is trained to detect objects and uh, it is readily available as open source so we can actually use this. And if you want to use other models, there are a few more models available. So you can click on this link here and uh, let me just take you there. There are a few more models, but we have chosen this particular one because this is uh, faster. It may not be very accurate, but that is one of the faster models. But on this link, you will see a lot of other models that are readily available. These are trained models. Some of them would take a little longer but they may be more accurate and so on so you can probably play around with these other models okay so we will be using that model so this piece of code this line is basically importing that model and this is also known as a frozen model the term we use is frozen model so we import download and import that and then we will actually use that model in our code all right so these two cells we have downloaded and imported the model and then once it is available locally we will then load this into our program all right so we are loading this into memory and uh, the, you need to perform a couple of additional steps which is basically we need to, to map the numbers to text as you may be aware when we actually build the model and when we run predictions the model will not give a text the output of the model is usually a number so we need to map that to a text so for example if the network predicts that the output is 5 we know that 5 means it is an airplane so things like that so this mapping is done in this next cell all right so let's keep moving and then we have a helper code which will basically load the data or load the images and transform into numpy arrays this is also used in doing object detection in images so we are actually going to reuse because video is nothing but it consists of frames which in turn are images so we are going to pretty much use reuse the same code which we used for doing object detection in images so this is where the actual detection starts so here this is the path for where the images are stored so this is here once again we are reusing the code which we wrote for detecting objects in an image so this is the path where the images were stored and this is the extension and this was done for about two or three images so we will continue to use this and uh, we go down i'll skip this section so this is the cell where we are actually loading the video and converting it into frames and then using frame by frame we are detecting the objects in the image so in this code what we are doing basically is there are a few lines of code what they do is basically once they find an object a box will be drawn around those uh, each of those objects and the input file the name of the input video file is uh, traffic it is uh, the extension is mp4 and uh, we have this video reader 
it's an excellent object which is basically part of this class called image io so we can read and write videos using that and uh, the video that we are going to use is uh, traffic.mp4 you can use any mp4 file but in our case i picked up video which has uh, like car so let me just show you so this is in this object detection folder i have this mp4 file i'll just quickly play this video it's a little slow yeah okay so here we go this is the video it's a short one relatively small video so that for this particular demo and what it will do is once we run our code it will detect each of these cars and it will annotate them as cars so in this particular video we only have cars we can later on see with another video i think i have cat here so we can also try with that but let's first check with this uh, traffic video so let me go back so we will be reading this frame by frame and um, you know actually we will be reading the video file but then we will be analyzing it frame by frame and we will be reading them at 10 frames per second that is the rate we are mentioning here and analyzing it and then annotating and then writing it back so you will see that we will have a video file named something like this traffic underscore annotated and um, we will see the annotated video so let's go back and run through this piece of code and then we will come back and see the annotated uh, video this might take a little while so i will pause the video after running this particular cell and then come back to show you the results all right so let's go ahead and run it so it is running now and it is also important that at the end you close the video writer so that it is similar to a file pointer when you open a file you should also make sure you close it so that it doesn't hog the resources so it's very similar so the, at the end of it the last piece or last line of code should be video underscore writer dot close all right so i'll pause and then i'll come back okay so i will see you in a little bit all right so now as you can see here the processing is done the R glass has disappeared that means the video has been processed so let's go back and check the annotated video and go back to my file manager so this was the original traffic.mp4 and now you have here traffic underscore annotated mp4 so let's go and run this and see how it looks you see here it has got each of these cars are getting detected let me pause and show you so we pause here it says car 70 percent let us allow it to go a little further it detects something on top what is that truck okay so i think because of the board on top it somehow thinks there is a truck let's play it some more and see if it detects anything else so this is again a car looks like so let us yeah so this is a car and it has confidence level of 69 percent okay this is again a car all right so basically till the end it goes and detects each and every car that is passing by now we can quickly repeat this process for another video let me just show you the other video which is a cat again there is uh, this cat is not really moving or anything but it is just standing there staring and moving a little slowly and uh, our application will our network will detect that this is a cat and uh, even when the cat moves a little bit in the other direction it will continue to detect and show that it is a cat okay so yeah so this is how the original video is let's go ahead and change our code to analyze this one and see if it detects our network detects this cat close this here we go and I'll go back to my code all we need to do is change this traffic to cat the extension it will automatically up because it is given here and then it will run through so very quickly once again what it is doing is this video reader video underscore reader has a, a neat little feature or interface whereby you can say for frame in video underscore reader so it will basically provide frame by frame so you are in a loop frame by frame and then you take that each frame that is given to you you take it and analyze it as if it is an image individual image so that's the way it works so it is uh, very easy to handle this all right so now let's once again run just this cell the rest of the stuff remains the same so i will run this cell again it will take a little while so the hour glasses come back 
I will pause and then come back in a little while. All right, so the processing is done. Let's go and check the annotated video. Go here. So we have get annotated mp4 let's play this all right so you can see here it is detecting the cat and in the beginning you also saw it detected something else here there looks like it detected one more object so let's just go back and see what it has detected here let's see yes so what is it trying to show here it's too small not able to see but uh, it is trying to detect something i think it is saying it is a car i don't know <laughs> all right okay so in this video there's only pretty much only one object which is a cat and uh, let's wait for some time and see if it continues to detect it when the cat turns around and moves as well just in a little bit that's going to happen and we will see there we go and in spite of turning the other way i think our network is able to detect that it is a cat so let me freeze and then show here it is actually still continues to detect it as a cat all right so that's pretty much it i think that's the only object that it detects in this particular video okay so close this so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching this video and you have a great day and in case you have any questions please uh, put them below the video here and we will be more than happy to get back to you and make sure you put your email id so that we can contact you in case you have any questions thank you once again bye bye hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here